Hey everybody, we're The Digressions, and you are watching the episode commentary for Season 1, Episode 4, The Facebookist. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Andrew. I'm the head writer of The Digressions, and I play Preston. I'm Aubrey Savarino, and I play Michelle. I'm Eric, and I am the director on camera for this episode. Fuck it. I love him. Boo! Look, boo all you want. So this is the first episode that we uh, shot and kept. Yeah, we went outside for this episode, and it really helped. Uh, uh, it really helped with the lighting when you used the sun. <laughs> yeah, we had a couple issues with the earlier episodes that we ended, need, uh, ended up needing to throw out, but uh, we're happy with this one. So this ended up being our first official episode. Oh, that hurts. But it might be true. Mm, the truth often does hurt. How early on did you write this episode? You know, this was episode four. This wasn't the first one I wrote. Okay, yeah, um, it came in pretty early, it, yeah. and it was actually, I think, where we kind of really started. And, and by we, I mean, I, I guess, started to kind of figure it out as a writer. That even though we did use some of the earlier episodes, I think uh, that I wrote, I think they were kind of um, more of a search. And this one was kind of like, oh, now we see where we're going. Now we see what makes sense for these characters. Um, I think it was probably the, th I'm gonna say probably the third or fourth yeah. episode that I wrote. Yeah, I think it can happen with people, like with relationships. Like, you stay with someone because you remember what it felt like at the beginning rather than what's happening in the moment. You think that's true? This is actually the point where like, so, the, the conversation segues from being just about Coldplay and the bands you like um, how awesome I was in to about relationships awesome and uh, <laughs> how the things you like, <laughs> account, accounting for the things that you like are also the same thing as counting for the people you like or the relationships you're in what? a little bit. Andrew can probably... Yeah, well, which ended up being kind of a, a great model for the show. Uh, and I think Coldplay which we kind of stumbled upon, which was... Yeah. The idea of characters starting out talking about something slightly superficial or pop culture related and having that segue into a more serious conversation about life. Come on, I'm allowed to like one thing shamelessly. Why can't you like an unlimited number of things shamelessly? Because I think from a aesthetic point of view too, we like, especially like in this episode, a lot of other episodes, we were like really up close on people because we kind of want to, we, we wanted to really kind of like go after like, a what? A just like, just get really close in on people and these, yeah. in these intimate little conversations, well, because that's what they. I mean, they're they're digressions. Well, we want, but we wanted to go in closer and just kind of dig deep. Yeah. Well, and something that Eric's talked about is it's one of the reasons we ended up with a more sort of handheld camera look is we wanted the impression that you're sitting in on this conversation. It's not like a broad physical comedy. It's not something that you necessarily need to be sort of distanced from to see. It, it's it, the idea that you're kind of in this conversation. I think is is something that really formed our visual style um, that Eric was really in charge of. Authors specifically ranked aren't examining their lives closely enough? Yes, I think it's quite possible. Is it a lot of people took this episode and one of the earlier episodes to mean that uh, Aubrey's and my characters, Press and Michelle, were in a relationship, um, <clears throat> which I suppose makes sense about the way they interact. <laughs> but I think it was fun for people to kind of realize that uh, later in the season that she has a, a boyfriend. Fourth favorite band. Kevin. Oh, I think you know the answer to that one, my friend. Oh, cold play. Get it, girl. <laughs> Break it down, Andrew, on yeah. the on the Song ukulele. Should be probably strangely reminiscent of a <laughs> top forty hit, and I'm gonna say like 2008 or 2009 by a bunch of British guys that kind of dressed up like they were in a fake colorful army and uh, mm, make crappy I music don't know. together. I don't uh, know. It was great music. It was great music. <laughs> 